How did the cabal maintain order amongst their vast numbers? And who are the individuals commanding each legion? Today, we'll take a look at the leadership and military hierarchy of the Cabal Legion, ranging from captains of small attack squads to commanders of entire legions in the Cabal Empire. Despite their enormous numbers, it's been described that the Cabal Legions encountered in the solar system are but a mere fraction of a fraction of the Empire. And, as described by Velis Tlu'um, are only a few scout legions. The true nature and identity of the Cabal leaders are all but unknown, except for those that were revealed in the Red War, with Dominus Gaul being the most recent ruler of the Empire, usurping control from Emperor Callus with the support of her Praetorate, known only as the Consul. The Cabal military takes inspiration from ancient Roman military structures, with ranks following the nomenclature styles of ancient Rome. Aside from the Empire's military hierarchy, there exists the Praetorate, a class of militaristic aristocracy that has rooted its strength deep within the Cabal Empire. They would often use the Empire's vast legions to protect and enrich themselves. Along with the various legionaries and scions that we faced, we've encountered more than our fair share of Cabal leadership leading a squad, maniples, and centuries, starting with the rank of Bracchus, known as the lower echelons of Cabal leadership, being around the same rank as a lieutenant or lieutenant commander. Bracchuses are known to lead small cabal squads, usually consisting of legionaries, phalanxes, and scions. However, by the end of the Red War, due to overwhelming guardian assault, the vast majority of Bracchuses have all but dwindled. They are also known as subordinates of the higher ranked Vals. Vals are equivalent to the rank of captains, usually either assigned as captains of larger cabal squads or as bodyguards to Valises. However, similar to Braxis, Val numbers have since dwindled since the end of the Red War. Though not confirmed, commanders have been seen to lead Vals into battle, as shown when Commander Truvo led to Vals in a raid against the Warmind Rasputin. Even though most commanders are of the Centurion class, Commander Yorg of Firebase Hades is the only known Phalanx commander. What does appear interesting to note is that there had been very limited sightings or encounters with commanders, which may be due to either the rank being outdated or that the rank itself is redundant. With that said, there is a rank far rarer than that of the commander, which is the field commander. Unlike the commander rank, there has been only one known field commander, which is field commander Kuskan of the Forge Saboteurs. However, not much is revealed about the rank, only that it could be either an informal rank or that it could also be assumed to be higher than that of a commander, or at the very least a variant of the commander rank. Valises are typically of the Centurion or even Colossi class cabal. They are seen as equivalents to Vice Admirals, usually a subordinate of either a Primus or Dominus. Most Valises have been entrusted with important objectives, usually being the boss in strikes and patrols based on leadership qualities. A Primus is often seen as equal to that of an Admiral rank, typically a Centurion or a Colossi, leading entire fleets on individual campaigns. A Primus's value is second only to a Dominus with their loss resulting in the Cabal Empire 
sending a replacement along with an entire fleet. Welcome to a world without light. I am Gaul, and your light is mine. <laughs> Dominus. The highest military rank in the Cabal Empire is Dominus, with only one known individual taking the title. The Dominus commands the entirety of the Cabal Empire military, specifically the legions. Though there had been no known predecessors to the Dominus title, it has been stated that Gaul only began using it due to his refusal to be called Emperor. Within their military, the Cabal also utilizes an enslaved species of psychics. Though powerful, Scions were conquered by the Cabal Empire earlier on, and consequently enslaved, used as mere weapons to further their conquest. Scions are typically found serving as engineers, pilots, or even fire support in battle. Most Scions are known marksmen, utilizing their telekinetic powers to improve their aim, thus providing long-range support in battle. Their agility has also been proven vital for scouting purposes as they're often seen darting throughout the battlefield. With their innate clairvoyance, the Scions are able to make a deeper connection with those around them, with the Scions of the Loyalist Legion noting that the connection with Callus to be amongst the most blinding of auras that they've come across. They are also second-class citizens at best and slaves at worst within the Cabal Empire, with laborers, engineers, and pilots being amongst the most common assignments given to Scions. Establishing themselves as integral parts of the Empire with roles specifically created dependent on the Scions. However, within the military, Particularly talented Scions would become Scion Flayers, masters of their psychic abilities. Though the full extent of their powers are yet to be shown, they have also been known to be entrusted to lead entire squads of Cabal forces into battle. One of the most recent encounters with Scion Flayers are the three Flayer sisters, Oslet, Nerul, and Tazarok who had attempted to use the prototype sundial created by Osiris to manipulate history, ensuring the Red Legion's victory during the Red War. However, despite the combined attempts of all three sisters, the Guardians triumphed, and in a desperate attempt to secure victory, they joined bodies and mind, forming Inotem, Oblivion's Triune. Fortunately, even with their combined might, the Guardians managed to triumph once more, ending the Red Legion's attempt at manipulating the past for now. Although being seen as second-class citizens and seemingly rare in Cabal society, Scions have since become vastly superior in terms of standings, compared to other client species of the Cabal Empire with some seeing them to be on equal standing with the Cabal themselves. Even with their strict military indoctrination, it doesn't seem at all impossible for any outsider to earn the respect and even a place in the Empire. As long as you are willing to commit genocide in the name of an authority that may or may not have massacred and enslaved your entire race.